everybody, Mike Capaletti here. Welcome to Think Like a Bridge Player. We go over a video clip of a bridge hand and we talk about the thought processes involved and hopefully maybe everybody can learn a little something or just feel good about it. Playing a hand. Uh, if you leave a comment and subscribe to our channel, you'll be entered into a drawing on June the 11th. The winner will receive a complimentary one hour speedball game playing with yours truly, Mike Capaletti, on Bridge Base Online. If that interests you, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment, please, and then you will be entered into the drawing, which is on June the 11th. Got a hand here that's a good learning thing for a tool called Pearson Points, or the Rule of 15. When it goes past, past, past to you, and you're, this is only when you're in the fourth position does this apply, Add your high card points, which I have 11, and your spade length, which I have five. And if that number gets to 15 or more, you should open the bidding. If it's less than 15, you should not open the bidding unless you have an extremely powerful playing hand like 6-5 distribution or a really long good suit. And you might make a contract, but you're afraid that they might have the spades. That's why you add the spades in, because they can outbid you. So here, this is a I have the spades, so I'm going to open one spade. Let's see what everybody else does. Partner has bid my side. He's saying he likes his hand for spades as far as the best hand goes, but I have a minimum. So I'm going to sign up. And I bought it for two spades, which is happy news in my opinion. So I have two, three diamond losers. And I might lose a spade, and I'll probably lose a club. Is there anything I can do about all that? Well, I can put one of my diamonds on a heart. I'm going to attempt to do it right away, which is end up giving them a trump trick. So I'm making up this. So now I'm going to try to take a spade finesse. Spade queen, maybe. Loses to the king. Taking back with a spade. Doing that. With a heart, just in case anything good happens. I'm going to basically concede two diamonds in a freedom stick. Diamonds in a club. Correct. Give them a club and then I'll count the rest. Well, okay, hand, we got two, two spades and we're going to make three. We we're rewarded for not passing the board out with our 11 points. Anyway, thanks for coming to Think Like a Bridge Player. Have a good day.